Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about how to solve a rational equation for a specific variable. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here. Solve 1 over c plus 1 over m equals 1 for c. Now, this is kind of difficult because we have, well, two variables here, and we're trying to get one of them just by itself. We have a lot of fractions going on. There's some things I want to state from the beginning. C cannot equal zero. Notice if we divide by zero, can't do that. Same thing applies to m, and m cannot equal zero. Can't divide by zero. So from the beginning, before we manipulate this equation, we want to make sure that it is noted for ourselves. All right, now we want to see how we can get C by itself. Well, how do we do this? Well. The least common denominator across the board here, I have a C here, I have an M here, and I have well, a 1 underneath the 1. The least common denominator is a combination of C and M, C times M. So I'm going to rewrite this equation, 1 over C plus 1 over M equals 1, and I'll multiply both sides by a C, M. And this is a or centimeters, <laughs> but this is a common way technique to really get things out of the denominator that you're looking for. Okay, and once you have it down, it's very helpful. With that, let's multiply CM across to both parts. We have a CM times one is a CM over C plus CM times one, CM over M equals one times CM, CM. From there, the C's cancel right here on the left-hand side, and the N's also cancel. So we have an M plus a C equals a CM. Now, with this though, I want to get all the c's together to one side. So I'm going to subtract a c to both sides, and I'm left with an m by itself equals a cm minus a c, or cmc, if you know that reference. From here, I want to get, again, c by itself, but I see cm and a c. I can pull out a c from both parts. I have M here, I have a C, and when I pull out the M, or C from both sides, I have an M minus a 1. Now from here, don't get confused with parentheses and C, I have multiplication going on. Opposite multiplications, division. Divide both sides by an M minus 1, and we can rewrite it, M minus 1 cancels, so I'll put C comes first, and C equals that M over an M minus 1. But now there's one thing I want to note before I'm finished. From the beginning, we said C cannot equal zero, and M cannot equal zero as well. When we got to the end, we want to apply that as well as what can M not equal again? M cannot equal a one, because once we simplify this, we have if M was a one in the denominator, again, we'd be dividing by zero, and we can't do that. So it's important to note we have C can't be zero, M can't be zero, and M can't be one. But either way, our simplified, oof, Final answer solved here, uh, cross off that M. It's all right, I hope you'll forgive me, I think you will. Our final answer here is C equals M over an M minus one. I hope you learned something here on how to solve a rational equation for a specific variable. And if you did, make sure you like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel. This helps us make more of these free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching.